Hello everyone, we are from Enryzen and we will be helping you to clear your doubts regarding TOEFL. So basically, what is TOEFL? TOEFL is basically a test of English language as a foreign language. In this video, we will be discussing when you can give TOEFL, registration fees, registration dates, syllabus, pattern, how to improve your each section. So first, we will be starting with why TOEFL. So if you are targeting North American universities like Canada and in US, then you should go for TOEFL because TOEFL is preferred more there. But if you are targeting countries like UK and Australia, then you should go for IELTS. Anyways, TOEFL is accepted there, but they prefer IELTS more. So now we'll be talking about the test dates. Well, TOEFL is conducted around the year like 50 times. You can reschedule it as many times as you want, but uh, you need to give a 12 days gap between your first test and your second test. Now about the registration fees, you will be uh, you will be charged $170 for each test you want to register for and you need to pay extra charges if you want to reschedule it or late fees or etc. Now we'll be talking about the pattern of the test. Basically there are four sections, reading, listening, speaking, writing. For reading, you will be given 60 to 80 minutes, 36 to 56 questions each. For listening, you will be given 60 to 90 minutes, 34 to 51 questions each. For writing, you will be given 50 minutes, two tasks each. For uh, speaking, you will be given 20 minutes and six tasks each. So basically, in reading, you will be given three to four passages of 700 words. You need to understand what is in that particular passage and you do need to answer the questions accordingly. For listening, you will be given basically two conversations and four lectures. You need to listen to them, you need to understand them, and you need to answer the questions accordingly. For speaking, you will be given a familiar topic on which you have to speak for about a minute or two. You will be judged on the basis of your pronunciation and your clarity of speech. And in writing, you will be given basically two tasks in which you have to write uh, accordingly. So there will be one question in your mind. What is a good score for getting into a very good college? So, when you talk about TOEFL, every pattern has 30 points each. For getting into top 30 schools, you need to get at least 100 plus score in TOEFL. For uh, 30 to 100 ranked schools, you need to get above 82. And below 100, you need to get minimum 79 TOEFL score for getting into a good college. So, all the best guys. I wish I answered all your questions. And... Thank you.